Was this line of questioning to the TikTok CEO from Senator Tom Cotton way too harsh? Was it racially fueled? Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's run the clip. You said today, as you often say, that you live in Singapore. Of what nation are you a citizen? Singapore. Are you a citizen of any other nation? No, Senator. Have you ever applied for Chinese citizenship? Senator, I served my nation in Singapore. No, I I did not. Do you have a Singaporean passport? Yes, and I served my military for two two and a half years in Singapore. do Do you have any other passport from any other nation? No, Senator. Your wife is an American citizen. Your children are American citizens. That's correct. Have you ever applied for American citizenship? Not, no, not yet. Okay. Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm Singaporean. No. Have you ever been associated or affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party? No, Senator. Again, I'm Singaporean. Let me ask you some hopefully simple questions. Oh, man. I'm telling you, this Senate hearing, Andrew, Mark Zuckerberg was there. Show Z Chu, the CEO of American TikTok, mm-hmm. or just TikTok in general. Obviously, it is owned by ByteDance, which also does Douyin in China. Uh, man, this was some theater. Yeah, no, this was an intense exchange, and it almost felt like a scene from a movie, like A Few Good Men. You know, when Tom Cruise is in the courtroom with Jack Nicholson, you can't handle the truth. Or what about uh, A Time to Kill? Oh, cra- any any crazy courtroom movie. But a uh, lot of people were also bringing up that Tom Cotton sounded like uh, Joseph McCarthy in 1952. Yeah, so I guess what basically is going on, guys, obviously there's this whole congressional hearing with Mark Zuckerberg and Sho Chu, uh, Sho Chu, sorry, from TikTok. And basically they're getting grilled by different sides of the aisle, right, left. It doesn't really matter. Uh, basically a lot of these older politicians are trying to grill these guys, right? But they're, but they're really doing it for theater because they, they cannot like pass the laws themselves. It's almost like if you really want to get into it, they're trying to score points for re-election or to get uh, more donations. Yeah. If you really want to know the truth, right. if you really want to cut to the core of it, because they're not like the decision makers, yeah. it's going to have to go through a crazy process. So this hearing is not the actual courtroom. But it sounds like those guys are the judge and the jury. Right, right. right. It sounds like something's going to happen right after this. Like there's going to be a verdict and then TikTok's going to have to regulate or Instagram's going to have to regulate or something. But I don't think that's how it works. So correct me if I'm wrong, Political guys. Political theater. There's no jury and there's no judge that's going to like lay down the law and then all of a sudden these guys get dragged away. No. So anyways, guys, uh, I think what most people are referring to is that Tom Cotton sounded kind of racist. Now- whether you think his line of questioning was fair, because it is fair to question people. This is a it congressional. It is fair hearing. to it's question Shochu's loyalties. However, they were questioning as him as if he was a white American. Yeah, it was because a- it was like if you're Singaporean, you are neutral. You know what I'm saying? Like you are politically neutral as a Singaporean. Right, right, it, right. Like so, I'm saying, why are they asking him? They're like, Tom Cotton's like, I'm a white man. You present as a white man because you you know i'm from an ivy league school even though i don't talk like it you're from an ivy league school uh school show you why don't you pledge loyalty to that team anglo yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it didn't seem like that i was like yeah, really? he's he's a foreigner it's it's uh you know we'll get into it guys there's a lot of comments but anyways we're gonna break it down so please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the hot pop boys David, uh, after- people, well, hold on. People need to check out smileoutsauce.com. Even though we're sold out right now from Sichuan and Sicily, guys. Um, I'll say this. Listen, the delivery sounded racist. Okay. The- I am not going to say that Tom Cotton can't ask show you because he was the CFO of ByteDance. For sure, there is something like that's a valid line of questioning, right? Right. Given his history, he worked in Beijing for Xiaomi, and then he was CFO of ByteDance, and now he's CEO of TikTok, which is separate supposedly totally valid for them to question him right but then part of me is like yeah of course he's not going to be as anti-china as a white old white guy in america right but but then, was, like, i was like why would he be but remember he did he did obviously it's not like he didn't say the truth when they asked about tiananmen square earlier there right. he, well, said he, said, he, he said what it was he said it was a massacre yeah he said what it was um i think that yeah the line the questioning itself wasn't racist but man tom cotton he might be racist no (laughs) tom cotton said a bunch of stuff i'll just pop it up here and this is like about whether you're talking about the israel gaza situation slavery oh talking about slavery he said some stuff that got him in hot water like even his own like other white republicans were like man this guy tom is really going crazy right now I, i just think anything anytime tom cotton is yelling it might sound racist. Even if it's probably because he is 
like kind of racist himself. So it almost ended up delegitimizing his point yeah. where you, I think you could argue that he is valid in his line of questioning, but he just sounded like he was trying to play a racist in a movie. Mm. Anyway, guys, we just got to get into the comment section. Somebody said he has no idea where Singapore is. How, he's probably asking himself, how can someone who's not Chinese look like that? He's <laughs> got to be Chinese. Someone said, listen, guys, he went to Harvard Law. He's not stupid. He's just clearly proud of being extremely racist. Right, right, right. Uh, do you think that Tom Cotton doesn't care? Other people said that he plays up being a fake redneck, much like uh, they, Andrew, they said George Bush Jr. was also a fake redneck. To win votes and win money and win power. Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, this is a pretty common tactic in America because a lot of people are emotional about things, right? It's uh -huh. almost like anybody pretending to be down with a squad where they're not really down with it. Some people say Kamala pretends to be like super right, down right, with right. like black Americans. People would say Tom Cotton or Larry the Cable Guy, not a real redneck. Uh -huh. Fake for money reasons, for marketing reasons, but everybody buys it up. Um, what do you think about all these comments? People saying, uh, I'm a Singaporean. This is offensive. This is racist. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think in itself, in a vacuum, it's super racist. Obviously, he's trying to dig and find and have him admit that there's some type of connection between him and higher ups at the Communist Party. But I think they, uh, it's tough. I mean, I guess Singaporeans have always said they're not Chinese and they're not communists. Obviously, there's no connection. Like, like yes, yeah, Singapore, by the way, is 75% ethnically Chinese. Ethnically yeah. Chinese. They do speak Mandarin. That is a little bit confusing for simple well, people to understand. Well, the Chinese Singaporeans speak Mandarin. Not yes, everybody. the Chinese Singaporeans. So, I mean, Mandarin is a commonly or popular language. I want to say it's one of their national languages. Yeah, possibly. well, English is for sure. And then after that, I'm not I think, sure. I, th I believe Mandarin and Malay are right. the other two. Right, but then ultimately, yeah, it's not China and it's not even close to China. Right. So. Um, somebody said, not that I am a fan of Cotton, but he is correct. TikTok can claim to be Singaporean, uh, the CEO can, but its parent is by dance, which is Chinese, which cannot be trusted. So a lot of people were basically like, yeah, I'm not saying that Tom Cotton didn't come across like an a-hole, but I'm just saying I like what he said. He being tough on him. Yeah, being tough on people like Mark Zuckerberg and Sho Chu is legit. It's legit. They were all going hard at him. But again, what happens now? Is anything going to change? You know what? I think if Tom Cotton wanted to go for it, he should have just said, is it true that when we go to break, you and Mark Zuckerberg are going to speak communist Chinese Mandarin to each other? Because if you guys don't know, Zuckerberg is essentially like somewhat fluent in Mandarin. He can speak Mandarin, yes. Um... I think that he should have just brought that up. He should have been like, see, that's why you're here, because you speak Mandarin and show you. You speak Mandarin. Ni hao. Say it to him. Yeah. Ni hao. Yeah, that'd be funny. What if they were like, listen, show you, I'd like for you to speak to Mark Zuckerberg fully in Chinese. Go for it. No, just in, do no, it. No, he was like, in communist Chinese, specifically the communist dialect. With the communist dialect. <laughs> um... What do you think about the McCarthyism? Andrew, a lot of people are accusing him of McCarthyism because it felt like Joseph McCarthy saying people, calling call people in yeah. 1950s. Because Tom Cotton kind of has this like old school voice. Like mm. we said, that's from like a bygone I think, era. I think if people want to be mad, they should just be like, the CEO of the most popular app is not American. Not that he's Chinese because he's not from China. He's from Singapore, which is not China. But I think like... Why, why don't they just why don't they just ban all like foreign CEOs from popular apps or something like that? Like I don't understand if they want to go that far, you know what I mean? Like it just seems like I don't fully understand what he's trying to say. Cuz it, it well, is I an felt Asian like he was trying app. to say this like Mark Zuckerberg, he's like, you know, got the Chinese wife speaks Chinese, show Z Chu is Singaporean, but obviously his parents I or I think his grandparents are from China. Like I feel like they're basically like you ain't supporting the Anglosphere enough. Guys. Like, none, none of y'all supporting me and my constituency, which is, like, a very vague way of putting it. But being like, you guys aren't on my team, and my team is more patriotic and on the side of these families whose lives have been ruined by social media, so you guys are on the other squad. And it's like, it is a very unintellectual way of saying it, but it's also very emotional, and it's probably appealing to their base. Hey, you guys want to know a funny fact? David, you know who went to Harvard? Mark Zuckerberg. You know who went to Harvard Business School? Sho Chu. 
And you know who also graduated from Harvard? Is Senator Tom Cotton. You got three Harvard graduates yelling at each other. I think there's a common thread. It's Harvard. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. A lot of people go to Harvard. They just be in the mix. Yeah, man. They be in the mix, Yo, man. I will say Andrew Yang has a pretty funny quote. He goes, uh, yeah, uh, people from Brown University are just trying to solve and fix the world that all the Harvard graduates messed up. Because Harvard people be powerful. They I be guess. swinging the hammer around, whether you say it's for good or bad. Um, somebody said Senator Tom Cotton did not ask a single question about child online safety regarding how it is implemented at TikTok. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, I would say he did a little bit, I think, but not yeah, really. He talked to Facebook mostly about it, or uh, that was Ted Cruz. Right, right, right. Uh, Ted Cruz also called TikTok Tic Tac. Tom Cruise, I mean, Ted, why well, I call him Tom Cruise? Ted Cruz also cannot be taken seriously in many ways. Man, I don't know. This is like. It's like not wrong to have this hearing, but like, it's just like, I don't know, silly, man. It's silly because everybody's acting like th they're in a movie and they're like Judge Dredd or the, you know, the jury, yeah. the executioner Dude. and the judge. Like, I'm like, you're just a guy at a hearing asking questions, but your tone is fiery like a Baptist preacher talking about like hell and brimstone yeah. and everything. That's what I think is so ridiculous about it. And I think people are like, Am I watching a movie scene right now? Mm -hmm. um, like I said, do I think, though, that Shozi Chu is going to say a bunch of things that are against the Chinese government? No, I don't think so, because his parent company is ByteDance. Why would he? Mm. And I guess I'll tell you this, too, though. No American CEO is going to answer any of those questions that Tom Cotton per, uh, asked him. Like I'm saying, no mm. American CEO is going to answer those the way Tom Cotton wants him to. Oh. Yeah, because they all are businessmen. Right. Everybody has business considerations in their life and incentives and mm -hmm. different people that the markets that they have to answer to, shareholders that they have to answer to, boards of directors that they have to answer to. So I just don't understand why he's like, see, you don't hate China like I do, Shochu. That means you're bad. But, but you know, like Zoom, you know, that, that app Zoom, like that founder is from China too, born in China. Eric Yuan. Yeah, Eric Yuan started in America. From Shandong. Shandong. So why, why is, like, nobody's going to question him? Like, there's so many people you could question technically if you want to. Oh, you're from China? Are you part of the Communist Party? Are your parents part of the Communist Party? You know what I mean? There's just so many, but, uh, yeah, I guess. I guess what I'm saying is, like, man, I get it. China and America are rivals, but for sure, and I'm not saying that there isn't a lot of, like, uh, jostling like two players in the post elbowing each other and stuff going on behind the scenes but to blame all of your problems in your country on a boogeyman it is overdoing it yeah because you're basically trying to say like we're not responsible for anything yeah like we, it's like yeah get your kids off tiktok i mean that's part of the that's part of the problem hey too. man if they want to ban tiktok it's going to be only better for me and you all right, everybody, you let us know in the comments down below. What do you think? Was Tom Cotton's questioning uncalled for? Or was it more of his tone? I think it was more of his tone and also who he is. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, until next time, we out. Peace. Mr. Chu, what country do you hold the passport to? Uh, Singapore, Senator. And what language do they speak in Singapore? English, Senator. No, the other language, the Asian one. Uh, Singlish. No, the Asian Asian one. Oh, uh, Mandarin is a widely spoken language in Singapore, sir. Do they speak Mandarin in China? Uh, yes, they do. So you're Chinese? I, as I stated before, Senator, I am from Singapore and I am Singaporean. Are you a member of the Communist Party of China? No, I am not, Senator. Are you sure you're not affiliated? Do people use TikTok to communicate? Is there something called the TikTok community? Yeah, yes, uh, we do call it a TikTok community when there's a group of creators that they, they work together to, to create TikTok. When you're at home eating dinner, sharing plates of food, what is that called? Family style, sir. Communal style. You are a commuter Chinese, damn it. Uh, I'm, yeah.